everybody, Phil here. This would be Robot Rant number six. He's been uh, painted now for a good month and a half or something. It's just been really uh, wintry here, though it doesn't look like it right now. And a lot of wind, so really bad for doing videos. So uh, that's how I envisioned it in the beginning there with the flat gray and the black accents. Still wouldn't mind putting some tattoos on his arm there and all the little uh, uh, writing over the hatches and that for like uh, hydraulic access and CPU this and that and whatever. The lights are on right now, it's not all that dark. Huh? Yeah, we'll see about weapons or whatever. Uh, kind of done with this guy for now. He's just a prototype anyway, so whether I put any on or not, we'll see how it goes. It looks pretty good, I think. So he's standing behind this prototype fence section. Building for a buddy of mine. Not going to keep him out. No, no. So, yeah, be good to make one that actually does stuff, but you got to start somewhere, right? So, uh, the first guy's done, and uh, when I get going on another one here, it's going to uh, be moving. Not sure what will exactly move, but uh, he'll do stuff. Since uh, this isn't enough for some people, he'll have to do something, the second one. So that's it anyway. Uh, I'm going to stick with those colors, I think. It was a shiny gray, very briefly. Looked horrible, so that was the end of that. And the flat pretty much hides all the uh, roughness of the uh, welded areas and that. So that's him, Juggernaut Series, Giant Killer Robot, number 001, ready to roll. So yeah, if you know anybody in the market, just uh, pass them on to old Phil so we can get this show on the road. So anyway, thanks for tuning in. Uh, yeah, Robot Rant number six. We'll see what uh, seven has in store. Maybe a robot rave or something like that. But I'll see what I can do. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good one.